All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Children of Morta. Or welcome back if you caught one of our many, many, many other series on the betas, demos, alphas, and so on and so forth. I think we've done this, what, two, three times now? I think I did it a little solo, then I did it with Shell, and then I did it with Shell again for the actual demo that everybody had access to. And now here we are with the, uh, well, this isn't even the final version. This is the PC Gold build, version point two. Two, three, which I'm pretty sure is the early access launch. So we've got a lot left to go before this game's done, but that's okay. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. I know that's her nose, but it looks like she's screaming without the glasses on. She's that's just her like, nose. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's totally her nose. Oh. She's got a red nose. Why? You thought it was her lips or Near something? Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. I love how complicated the pixel art is. Oh yeah, this Margaret is one of the best pixel art games answers. I've ever seen. All the roots especially. I think the only game that but probably is better than this is- did not speak. Probably should be talking Light this. Drifter maybe? I'll cut out the commentary for There this. was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind has it begun again? Oh, I wonder if you can see the locations of where we're supposed to go. Because there are some, like, kind of distinct things on that map there. John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. expecting a preamble to him stumbling into the forest, but I guess here it comes. Anyway, time to play the tutorial again, again, again. Because I think <laughs> I've been through this like five times now? Question mark? But that's okay, because I think this is Rhea, actually the... A land long forgotten. A place of unimaginable beauty. I think this is the prettiest part of the game for me, so it's kind of one of those where it's like, on one hand, it's boring as hell. On the other hand, it's really cool looking. It first appeared as sludge given life. Slithering creatures, small and vile. Fart gully. <laughs> well, you know, if you want something as alien as can be, it's going to be gelatinous. Goop ooze. or bugs? Mm-hmm. And it seemed to burst forth from the mountain and cascade across the land. That that was the tremor that she felt. Yeah, I don't necessarily know if... 
if that was like more of kind of a vision than anything else because wasn't she supposed to be a seer oh yeah it could be so maybe she's actually trying to prevent that future yeah that she sees it kind of starting to come but that's you know it hasn't like erupted yet because i feel like when it when darkness erupts like that oh the land would be doomed i mean at this point there has been some kind of seeping seething uh, presence to the ooze, but it hasn't taken hold yet. Yeah, because there's still a fair bit of nature here that is very clearly However, there are, look at those boars and such. Oh there. yeah, there's quite a lot. Impeding further progress. A battle for certain. I can block. Yeah, because there's a dead boar, a dead porcupine. And notice how they have the ooze emerging from their mouths? Ugh. You know, so, I was gonna say, I always wonder where the, like, direct inspiration for these games comes from. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been playing a game called Undermine lately. Uh, which is real fun. And apparently the inspiration for that was actually the, uh... The inspiration for that was, was peasants going into the mines in Warcraft. Mm -hmm. You know, to go get money and then come back out over and over again. It's like, well, what goes on in there? And so that's that's what kind of inspired them to, to make the game uh, undermine. Um, now, is there a path off to the right that's kind of hidden? Yes. Ooh, what is this? Unsure. Can you kneel before it or No, there's something? no interaction. Some kind of godstone? It looks interesting, whatever it is, but... Oh, unfortunately, we can't interact with it. Yeah. And you can't ever revisit the overworld again, this tutorial area. I don't oh, think no. so, no. Dead llama. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. So, for those whose spirits haven't fled quite yet, you can take their power. Wait, what's on that throne? Another depiction of a god? Of yeah, a something. An entity of some sort. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. I have lost my ability to play this game well, but that's okay. I got a skill point. Skill tree. Learn. Move. Mm hmm What I find charming about this game is that there are so many potential playable characters amongst the family members. Yeah, there's like six, I want to say. A familiar threat, albeit farther out than usual. Oh. More dead, Inherently but... violent and ill-bathed, the goblins were an unfocused but constant threat. That's like a weird dead owl beast. Mm-hmm. Because I remember when we initially played this game together, I was actually his younger daughter. Yeah. The... And then more recently, they made you play the older daughter as the secondary character if you're playing co-op. But does that deplete? No, only when they hit me. Okay. Magnificent, but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. Whoa, is that a castle on the right? Yeah, it's a building for sure. And there's chains keeping it in place. Seems like a risky business. <laughs> I would not live in that real estate. Even if it was a means to keep you away from potential invaders, they Before could just him cut the chains. Was sacred ground left untouched in days gone by. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part.
Okay, so I have an aura of damage and and I can't join as of yet. No, I believe but not until this is the like the last done. fight anyway. Mm-hmm. Now, any progress that we make this time, will it be ready? Will it yeah, be... this is permanent now. Okay, thank yeah. goodness. Yeah, the early access carries over. No more resets, no more nothing. It would have been nice to continue from where we left off, but I'm not sure how they've changed the initial Before dungeon. Before the Guardians Ooh. were not beasts feeding Monsters consuming, destroying others. They corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Either their corrupted essence or blood or... Ugh. Oh, I don't have the upgrade for extra stamina here. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why I couldn't dodge. Holy crap, she is just demolishing things. Why can't you be that accurate, Shal? Hey! It's okay, I'd be just... I'm not any better. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? And they had made the altar out the of the ancient tree had been cut down. Yep. Together, father and daughter described the horror, the creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption, a cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices, an ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta, and the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. John steeled his nerves, thinking of the difficult climb ahead of him and his daughter. The only thought that consumed his mind by all the curses, where is that boy right now? Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight. Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. The Family Batcave. <laughs> And this is a teleportation hub? Mm -hmm. Given to the Berksons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay. Uh, so, it looks like this is like a three or four part dungeon. Oh, three. Oh, th these maps are new. Yeah. As far as I recall. Yeah. I think so, but so Silk Caverns one out of three. So there will be two more sections to this. That'll be cool. So now they've partitioned each map into separate. Yeah biomes or sections. It looks like four, so maybe the last one is just the boss. I could be wrong. Okay, so Shell, you should be able to press... Probably this button. Can I see your controller? Well, I need to turn it on first. So yeah, it looks like we also have four other characters to unlock. 
Uh, they fixed the UI up, so I will be John, and you will be Linda. And so, I see... I see the probably the little girl. The, on the far left. The younger boy. And then... There's a dude with a hammer. A dude with a hammer, and then I assume another guy with a ponytail. Yeah. Now, they did mention that there was an older son named Mark. I'm assuming Mark's the one with the hammer. Well, maybe not, actually. Mark might be the one on the right, because if he's close to the younger brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they might be arm-in-arm arm right there. But who knows? I had assumed with a family member missing that it would have resulted in tragedy, that he would have been corrupted or something, but no, nah, maybe we just need to find him. Mm -hmm. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Berkson's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. And it's one of those where it's actually in our best interest to level every character because you get passive bonuses for the whole family by doing so. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you already know how to play. Yes, but it seems frozen. You have to press A. Because it's a tutorial for you. Oh. Okay. Right, then. I don't think there's anything useful in this room. Yeah. All right, it's this way. Okay. So and remember just... the maps in the top. Ah. So X seems to be my basic arrow. Yep. And you don't have your being. ability yet. You got to level up first. Mm -hmm. Bad spiders. So for people that have not seen this game before, to describe what it is exactly, it's some kind of weird combination between, I would say, Diablo, a roguelite, and a hack and slash hero battle brawler kind of situation. Uh, so the the point of it is, uh, the point of it is, you go into these dungeons. Oh, I see. With the right stick, I can stay stagnant. Yeah. Yeah, you aim with the right stick. Um, so I don't even need to press X per se. Mhm. Mm yeah, you just aim in aim in the direction you want to aim. I should probably do that myself, but it's less useful. The one problem with having your hand on the right stick uh, is I need that abilities. Yeah. yeah, if you want to use any of your abilities, you'll have to take your hand off. Less of an issue for you, but if I want to say, like, start dodging or something, it's going to be an issue. And yeah, oh, try yeah, not to dodge. take damage because uh, healing is few and far between. But yeah, so to finish my description, you go into these dungeons, they're procedurally generated, you... Oh... Uh, let's Keep see. trying to swipe for my move. There we go. Uh, they're procedurally generated. There's some kind of random events that you can run into as well. Uh, uh, in certain rooms, and uh, if you die, you get sent back to the beginning. But you get to bring treasure with you out when you do die, so you can upgrade your stats. It's not unlike Undermine or Rogue oh. Legacy, though it's different enough that it feels like a unique product. It's also co-op. Watch, Watch out. Watch out for the yep. Yep. exploding blossom. So we've got a healing potion here. Uh, you pick it up? Yep. Yeah. So... And I th I think you got some It looks like it's health. actually just split between the two of us now. Because mm -hmm. I re remember originally healing potions... Uh, We'd it, have to determine who Yeah, who picked them up. To... But I think now it actually just splits it evenly if we're both injured. Or... Uh... Ow, those things hurt. Now, there was a fish in this pond. Oh, interesting. I would not eat that fish. Lane would eat that fish, but I would not. <laughs> to work on my dodging. Uh oh. Yep. I'm gonna have to keep stunning these guys backwards. I gotta remember to use my ability. Uh, eh, you're almost a level one. Mm hmm. Where's a level two? Also, do not know what these, like, weird statue things are. 
Sometimes I think they draw you items. in. Yeah, they just draw you in. So oh, you, that in the center. Yes. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about damage from them necessarily. Skeletons! There we go. I must have leveled up then. Yep. So when we're safe, we can have you uh, press select. Get a new This ability. is safe. You can press select probably. Uh, that's start. Oh, sorry. Okay, I can choose to have explosive crescendo. Okay, so an explosive arrow. Yeah. Decrease uh, stamina. So I would get explosive crescendo. It's your active ability. Mm -hmm. The other one just makes it so moving and shooting costs less stamina, which is useful, but not... Okay, so now I have a Y ability. Yeah, so if you press Y... Yep. I don't get damage. It probably by just that, hits like a nearby target or something. Mm-hmm. But it'll blast things to kingdom come. And I have leveled up. Uh, let's see. You want to come up for a oh, second? Is that a pile of bones over there? I guess oh, it sure. pauses the game, so it's not that big of a deal. So, two skill points would let me increase the damage, or uh, melee attack with stake damage when blocked by my shield. Heck yeah. And yeah, who's this over here? Someone had an armor. Uh, There's a healing potion. Maybe you should pick that up just yeah. in case you get the lion's share. There's bat. Bonk. Now, I'm interested in trying some of the other characters. I, As much as I like John, I will admit, I've gotten very used to using him. And it would be interesting to try out somebody else. Uh, let's go the, uh, both ways suck. Both ways All have right. spikes. Here, uh... Oh, so there's a bit of a time delay. Yeah. So as long as that scares the crap out of me every time you do it. Sorry. Keep it up, obviously. Like don't don't stop. But uh, every time that explosive arrow comes down, I'm like, oh no. Me. Yep. Or damage you guys, I should say. Yeah, because it, it can't say. hurt me. <laughs> but like my reaction is just like, ow. Oh, wait. Because <laughs> it's not Ow. Oh, yeah, that's one of the special chests. requires a gemstone. Chests. We have yeah. to go find a dead thing. There's uh, the dead thing. Dead thing? Dead thing had money. Oh. No gemstone, though. Nope. I dead feel like the levels got dead bigger. End? Yeah, dead end. There's now, a lot these of were dead also ends. procedurally generated, so. Correct. So. They're never quite the same. These rooms, for example. Whoops. Watch out. These rooms, for example, these, like, big open areas. I don't know if they're hand designed. They don't look like it. What they probably do is they just kind of pull from, like, just a, an internal logic. You found the finish room portal. Oh. We that's have... handy. This I is fine. I don't know if we ever had this before. Uh, It's new, so we don't want to go for that door. Right. We do want to go for this, though. Range companion fights by your side. Yours. Okay. Press B. There you go. So now you've got a little shooter buddy. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, let's see, but we can press up on the D-pad and work back whenever we want. So rooms like this are, are I'm not gonna say hand generated. Oh, we but, haven't gone this way, have we? Uh, we have. We oh, have. I see. It was yeah. just another path that yep, yep. crisscrossed. But yeah, so it, it just kind of paints a blob and then fills in the uh, sprites. These like rock tiles are just kind of repeated a bunch. But some rooms, like the uh, like the teleportation room or the room where we got your shooter buddy, those are uh, those are hand designed or at least hand designed ish, uh, as opposed to uh, as opposed to the rest of this. Honestly, it reminds me of, like, old-school Diablo 2 level design, and I'm totally fine with that. Because ultimately, this is a game where we just wander around killing the forces of evil until we finally, like, reach some kind of important point of interest. And then... Oh, this should probably be a dead person. Yep, check it. Mostly has gold. Coins. I think if it's a dead monster, it gives us gold. If it's a dead, like, good thing, it might give us the gems. I don't know. I found those gems to be fairly few and far between, unfortunately. Mm 
So you're replaying on Switch or PC? We're playing on PC. I probably could have asked for a Switch key, but I never did. I want to check. Uh, it's not that. I don't know, because this is the room we came in on. Ah, oh, true. Yeah, there but there's no... Path? I just wanted to double check to see if there weren't any other doorways, but I don't see it. Okay, so in that so case... So you just go to that door? Zoop. Press up on the D-pad, or you don't even need to. Perfect. Anyway, so we can actually just press up on the D-pad. That way we don't have to navigate all the way back. Yeah, we don't have to walk caverns. back. This is a new feature, and it is so nice. Ah, oh, nice. I was going the to come. strands oh. of white fibers coated the ground and walls, evidence of the silk caverns living up to their name. Definitely. It's if if these bill. squares that denote that there's a door here. Yeah. So there's no point in jamming yourself into the walls. Ah, bat. Yeah, I was going to say at the very beginning that they were conducting the vile ritual on the stump of an ancient tree. And yeah. they mentioned how, I don't know if it was the oldest tree in the forest or what the deal was, but. By the way, you picking up that uh, that potion healed me to full. So oh, nice. you don't have to worry about it. Try not to pick it up if we're only mildly injured. Right. But if one of us is down past, I'm gonna say 20, 30 HP, then it's probably fair game. Beatings will continue until there's no spiders in this cave. A lot of oh, that triggered them. Fortunately, my my ability does not stun lock things very well, which is a bit of a oh, shame. That's an interesting emblem. Hmm. Do you think it depicts the mountain? Or the the three pieces of Rhea? Ah, that too. That's a spellcaster. Oh, I think spiders. he summons. He's just a summoner. There's there's the nuker type enemies that were significantly more dangerous. Because I I think it was the nuker types that would actually destroy us in the uh, in the alpha version that we played like a year ago. Well, I must have leveled up too. Yeah, we played this when we were in Kansas, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. There's some more treasure here. More treasure. There's a loot room over here, though. Or an event room. Ah, loot room. Okay, totem that greatly buffs you. I'm nabbing that. Okay, sure. Should I look at my skills? Uh, Yeah, you have a skill point. So, press left bumper. Because okay. you're currently looking at the codex. Which you can look at at a later date, but not now. Should I... Wait, can so I if you notice, the crescendo? Uh, leveling up explosive crescendo is going to cost two skill points. You only have one. Uh, so I put one into harmonize, at least for now. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's go on. Have we gone south? Oh, yep. Ah, so you're using the totem. Yep. But it looks like its area of effect is only... Oh, are you poisoned? Don't think so. Oh, I see. It it gives you a max HP bonus while you're inside of it. Uh, so that was leaving the uh. Leaving it took away your health. Yeah, leaving so it, it took away the bonus health. Mm -hmm. Hence why it looks like I took damage. I was confused. I was like, uh, am I doing something wrong? I took a lot of damage there, and the answer is no, I didn't. Okay, so we've got bad Nix. Well, I'm stuck here, but they're stuck here with me, so I guess it's okay. All I think right, we you can go just down. roll out of it, can't you? Yeah, yeah, you can walk out. Just not while I have my shield up, because I'm significantly slower with my shield. Notice how yeah, you like can definitely. totally outpace me. Oh, spider! Is that a kill bonus? The yeah. twelve. Yeah. So if you notice, enemy slain, uh, twelve enemies slain in quick succession, plus ten gold. So eventually, ah. when we're better at this game and better equipped... We'll continually be able to get chains. Well, what we're going to want to do is effectively go really fast, aggroing as many things as possible. Instead of... Uh, instead of just immediately, uh, you know, kind of slowing down and whatever. 
-hmm. But that'll be at a later date. Oh. You incited the wrath? I have, and it hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Is wrathful. It's okay, I'm apparently back up to full health. Hope there are more that spiders this way. That potion was beefy. Yeah, gotta go for the, the big uh, spider mothers. Yeah. Or technically not. We don't actually... Oh, there's another spider mother down there, and she's sending poison at us. I'm yeah. gonna need that health. And I'm also yeah. slowed. That's fine. I... Or oh. that was because of I was at half health. Well, half no, no, no. Uh, it's either the spider's dying or something leaves, like, webs on the ground. Oh, yeah, the webs. Oh! oh that's a boss one. Okay, so those, those do a little bit of damage and mostly just stun lock you. Okay, uh, plenty oh, of potions to go around to both of those. You got one of the sort of wisps of energy. Oh, I did. Uh, there's a treasure chest over here. Okay. Oop. So it gives money. It's open for a perk, but oh well. More money. Honestly, money is really good for us. Especially right now. Uh, let's see if well, I we check. Well, we only be yeah, able to use the money. Oh, right. There's merchants, and then there's so there are upgrades merchants at home. inside the dungeon. But whoop. Oh man. Uh, so there are merchants inside the dungeon. That was nice. You, you used your lightning strike at the same my time. My lightning I used strike my... is actually pretty satisfying. I gotta remember to use it more often because I'm kind of bad at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. I don't. Uh, I don't recharge my lightning strike when I'm blocking. Oh, keep that in mind. Uh, potion behind there, by the way, so we'll keep that in mind. It's also denoted by a red heart on the map. Oh, there's... Oh, this guy was the one that summoned the ooze, and he's coming right at me. Yeah. Try and kite them in smaller-ish circles. Oh, no. Also, don't run towards enemies, for obvious reasons. Here, lure them through here, if you can. Okay, sure. Because always best to lure them back through areas that, uh, that we have Already uh, been through so before. Therefore, we don't. Otherwise, we get end up more making a lot of yeah. new friends. Now, Agro. admittedly, we're doing fine, so it's not actually so bad. Uh, mm -hmm. but it could be fatal. Okay, there we go. Yep. Ah, oh, there's a ton of enemies here. And they will all die. It feels a lot better. I don't entirely know what they've changed. I think, I feel like we're fighting more enemies, but they don't do as much damage to us. And I, it almost feels as though we're doing more damage. Yeah, maybe that's it. Because I remember we used to face fewer enemies, but then also do less damage. Wait, 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 why am I running off screen? Uh, did your controller? I think my controller may have died. It might have run or, out of juice. Or bugged out. Uh. Is it if it's not turning back on again then it's out of juice, switch the batteries out. Okay, sure. Because you should have a fresh pair directly next to you. Alright, just Well you do the that, position. I'm gonna pause and look at my skills. Because they might have changed some things. Obviously, Shield of Thorns increases thorn damage. Enemies hitting me take damage back, otherwise it can increase my lightning and moves damage. What else do we got? Unleash your rage, become invulnerable, deal thorn damage to attackers, increases my armor. Oh, here we go. So, as I level up my skill levels, uh, I get these various perks. So, getting this one increases the max health of all family members. Uh, family members gain Heaven Strike runes for their fa for their various abilities. Uh, John appears to shield from fatal attacks. And... Uh, slow regeneration. So, pretty much I'm going to focus really hard on maxing John out. Mm -hmm. uh, to get that slow regeneration. I don't think it'll be that helpful, but still, any amount of regen is good. Uh, let's see, so Shield Slam. Oh, so it looks like we actually get to use a lot of these abilities together. You know, it's not just X, Y, and left bumper, because I have left bumper plus Y does a thing. That's cool. I was worried that we'd have, like, only three abilities to pull from at a time. Uh, let's see, chance for John's primary attack to reset the Heaven Strike and guarantee a crit. Ooh. So increase max stamina. Charge forward with the shield. 
So you won't be able to get up there until you put a number of points into each level. It looks like 4, 8, 14, 20. Yeah, so I'm I'm pretty... I'm not entirely sure, because I'm still level 2, and it looks like I'm currently at 3. So I think when I hit level 20, I get this. And then these just get kind of expensive. We'll see. All right, I'm back in the game. Okay, and you're level three. <laughs> I think. Yeah, so it, it looked like it was me. Should yep. I should I put points in? Oh, uh, you can't put any points into anything. Nah, not yet. Yeah, because you need, need two to unlock mm -hmm. the next one. That makes sense. Now, does it continue to double, or does it just three, four, five? I, you know, Six we won't know until skill. we put two points into something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are shrines. We can get like buffs and perks out is. of them. Unfortunately, we can't use them yet. I think we either have to like die or beat the spider boss to unlock them. Wonder? What's up? Don't you like how colorful the game is? I oh, mean, yeah. Even if this is supposed to be a. It's, it's dark cavern. and dreary and stuff, but like. This it's is what I want out of. and oranges. And... This is what I want out of dreary games. Make it colorful, just make it moody. Mm -hmm. And I think they succeeded really well at that. I wonder why there there are spikes just around that center spot. Uh somebody really didn't like that spot. <laughs> they did or, or they, they wanted really, a tank from there. Maybe that was their favorite spot on the floor and they wanted to protect it. <laughs> okay. Uh let's see. Do we have give me a second. Any other branching paths? Nope. Or is this boss, the boss time. room? Ooh. I think there's a I think there are heals right beforehand. Which is good because I am wounded. And some more gold. Okay, so do you remember how to fight this boss? I don't even know which boss we're going it's to fight. The spider first. Oh again. this spider lady. Yeah, so watch okay. it, it drops down from the ceiling. Eight eyes mm -hmm. studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. I don't remember it being so splooshy. Yeah, the the abdomen's new. So be careful. There should be like, uh. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Do you see the indication on the ground? Mm -hmm. That's when you want to dodge. Yep. She got there. That's when she's calling for more. Okay. Oh, drop to heal. That's helpful. Oh. Oh man, I only have five HP left. Oh, she's uh, she slammed on me. Oh, don't don't sacrifice yourself in the. You're up. But be me. very careful about those. If we die, it's not the end of the world. Oh, I didn't put my shield up. That sucks, and I'm dead. Oh, okay. I, I so was just I... sitting Bergson and swinging. To yeah, step away, it's fine. Uh... Wondering if this was death. The Bergson began to slip away. <sighs> that bug's still in there. This was death. Uh, A bug? But yeah, I made the mistake of not raising my shield while I was attacking. Well, I'd say mistake, but it just didn't happen. I was holding the button and it just didn't go. They gasped for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. But yeah, you gotta dodge the, the swoosh. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness. And no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. <laughs> 